Welcome to Dr. Warwick's podcast channel. Warwick is a practicing cardiologist and author with a passion for improving care by helping patients understand their heart health through education. Warwick believes educated patients get the best health care. Discover and understand the latest approaches and technology in heart care and how this might apply to you or someone you love. Hi, my name is Dr. Warwick Bishop and I'd like to welcome you to my consulting room. Today I'd like to speak with you with something that comes up in my consultations on a regular basis and that is the patients ask me, does stress cause heart attacks? Well, it's a pretty reasonable question. The broad answer is, look, they probably do. The difficulty of course though is that it's very hard to measure stress. Well, how could stress be implicated? We know that stress can push your blood pressure up. So if you're in a stressful situation on an ongoing basis, then that will certainly push up your blood pressure and have wear and tear on your arteries and certainly increase your risk of heart attack. Stress can also increase your cortisol levels. These are hormones that alter some of the constituents of the blood, which may be adverse or not so good for your risk of heart attack. Those cortisol levels could push up sugar levels and move you towards the diabet diabetic spectrum and we know that that of its own is a risk of heart attack. We know that stress can lead to poor sleep and poor sleep is really damaging in so many ways but again impacts on the metabolism and can have an effect on the way our cortisol and sugars and lipid profile are activated within the body. Stress can make us eat differently. Some people actually eat for comfort during stress and if you're eating for comfort, if you think of the comfort foods that people may reach for, they're often not the things that you would choose if you're looking to have a healthy diet. Stress can also drive people to drinking more alcohol and although one or two glasses a day on a regular basis is a very good thing for your heart health as far as we understand we do know that more than uh, one or two drinks a day can start to increase blood pressure in the longer term can alter sleep patterns and again have a detrimental effect on that person's risk of heart attack increased stress may also mean that it impacts on people's lifestyle so they're able to exercise less and so less able to look after themselves because they're bearing the brunt of the stress within their lives. But stress is such a complicated issue. Is it sudden stress? Is it chronic stress? Is it good stress? Is it bad stress? Good stress may be the stress that someone has while they're racing a motor vehicle and they're under stress trying to keep it on the road. But bad stress may be having a boss who on a daily basis is critical and degrading and picks for no reason at all. Stress is a very complex issue. I don't know how to deal with it. It almost certainly has a role in heart attack and in general health. My suggestion though is you figure out where the bad stress is in your life and whatever you could do, try and reduce it if you possibly can. I hope you found that little talk about stress interesting. I didn't find it too stressful to give to you. As always, I wish you the very best in health. Thank you for joining me and goodbye. You have been listening to another podcast from Dr. Warwick. Visit his website at drwarwickbishop.com for the latest news on heart disease. If you love this podcast, feel free to leave us a review.